A final farewell for a champion and drum major for good. Good evening, everyone. I'm LaDawn Davis. Former cabinet minister, senator, and parliamentarian, the Honorable Teresa Moxie Ingram, was laid to rest today. Tashina Robinson Blair tells us tonight that she was remembered as a warrior and a political giant. From an r and teacher to a government minister responsible for weighty cabinet portfolios, the life of the Honorable Teresa Moxie Ingram was one well lived. Prime Minister Dr. The Honorable Hubert Minnis hailed the Free National Movement's meritorious council member as a bold and courageous spirit, one who loved her country. She was a friend of the poor and the vulnerable in our country. She was a fearless warrior in fighting for what was right, especially for the rights of women. She never, ever forgot her roots. Teresa Moxie Ingram was a true 21st century woman. Mrs. Moxie Ingram was a master at adaptation for life's changing scenes. Although history will remember her as a female pioneer in Bahamian politics, the multifaceted Mrs. Moxie Ingram was so much more. St. Agnes Rector Reverend I. Ranfley Brown recalls just how seriously the parliamentarian took her faith. A first day in office, as a minister of the then government, she began with prayer with her priest. And she rose up to be a champion for the people. Teresa Moxie Ingram wore many hats. Educator, performing artist, marketing and communications professional, hotel executive, lodge sister, tertiary administrator, talk show host, one engaged in church ministry, and a noted parliamentarian. An industrious woman, not even an ankle injury confining her to a wheelchair for the last two years, could slow her down. Along with the nation, left to cherish her memories are her husband Kirk, daughter Odia, and mother Sally Hutchinson. Reporting for ZNS Network News, I'm Tashina Robinson-Blair.